So this is a review of Arrow Video's release of Microwave Massacre. So I'd actually never seen this movie before. I only bought it because it was an, an Arrow release. And it did kind of look like a slasher film, which obviously I am very wrong when I picked it up because it is not a slasher film, it's a slapstick comedy. It stars Jackie Vernon, who is a comedian playing as a character called Donald, who is a middle-aged man who's extremely unhappy in his life and his marriage. And it follows him going to his work and then back and reluctantly going back home after going to the pub and getting drunk and not wanting to go home to his wife. His wife has recently got a new microwave, which is the biggest microwave I've ever seen in my life. And she's become obsessed with making him healthy meals, so she doesn't give him meat or anything else other than these healthy vegetable meals cooked in a microwave. So they fight constantly in the movie, and eventually what happens is one night, after he's gone to work and come home drunk, they have a massive fight and he accidentally kills his wife. Well, he doesn't actually accidentally kill her, he does it on purpose, but I don't think he actually meant to go all the, the whole way and kill her. So he starts to chop up her body in the, the hopes of hiding it in the freezer and then after saying he's hungry, eats her arm. So he then realises that actually, you know what, meat tastes quite nice. So he starts cooking her in her massive microwave uh, and eating her and taking her to work. From there on we, we follow the storyline of he's now got freedom and he starts going out and after years of a loveless marriage, picking up prostitutes. So. Most of the women that are in this that he picks up and has sex with and chops up and eats are prostitutes, apart from one ditzy woman that he picks up and gives a, a lift in his car, who is really funny, she just, I don't know why, in the 1983 when this movie was made it must have been attractive for women to just look up, because in the whole scene that she's in she's just eyeballing this guy, so he, apart from her, she's the only one that I don't think was a prostitute, although she might have been because he does just pick her up at the side of the road. So he's chopping all these women up and eating them. The movie, as I said, is a slapstick comedy. It's more in part of humour from something like um, Kentucky Fried Movie or um, like Roger Dangerfield, that kind of slapstick comedy. There's some characters in this which are really, really funny, like the psycho uh, psychologist that he goes to speak uh, speak to and the doctor, Dr. Von Derfel. Uh, I just thought he was really funny. So uh, it's funny that they portray the, the people that he goes to for help as just idiots, but the movie, as I said, is just slapstick from beginning to end. It's really funny. I did actually, as I said, go into it thinking it was a slasher movie and I thought as soon as it started being slapstick, oh, I'm not going to like this, but I really did enjoy it. I did have a giggle all the way through. I enjoyed scenes like when he put his sister-in-law in the cupboard because he didn't want to eat her and stuffed her mouth with baguette so she couldn't shout when the baguette slowly but surely went green and blue mouldy throughout the scenes every time he opened the cupboard and you seen her. The ending was quite abrupt, but to be honest with you, I don't really know another way they were going to end it other than the way that they did end it. The picture quality is a 2K restoration from Arrow Video, so it's never going to look any better than, than this. But Arrow Video always go the, ho the whole hog when they release um, new movies. So I think if you are going to watch it, this is probably the best edition of it. I would recommend it, and I would give this movie a 7 out of 10. Purely and simply because it is so funny and it just doesn't take itself seriously and it's definitely a movie that if you're going to watch would work in a good double bill with something like Frank and Hooker. So it is a movie I'd recommend.